now he wants to challenge us again from the word of God. But I think I preached better in Spanish than I did in English. Na nesa kwa na ubiri vizuri kwa kispania kuliko lugha yetu ya kimongo. Na today I'm speaking in English. Na leo mimi na ubiri katika kigeza kule. And I'll get there. No problem. And I have it. I'm being translated in Swahili, right? Na na una kwamba ina pelepo katika lugha ya Swahili. Now I think the same thing is going to happen. <laughs> I will preach better in Swahili than in English. So, praise the Lord. Amen. Now, I want to show you this chart over here. 
mchoro ambao uko hapa. Now we're in Ephesians chapter 2. Wa Efeso 2. And what we're going to talk about today is God's mercy, God's grace, and God's love. Tunaenda kuongea kuhusu leo upendo wa Mungu na neema ya Mungu na huruma ya Mungu. Now God's mercy means that you don't get what you deserve which is hell. God's grace is getting something you don't deserve which is heaven. God's love is manifested in Calvary. Na tunaona sasa nao upendo wa Mungu umekuja kujionyesha katika huu msalaba uh, wa Calvary where Jesus Christ died for the sins of the whole world. Ambao ambapo uh, Yesu Kristo alikuja akakufa kwa ajili ya dhambi za watu wote duniani. But God commanded his love toward us and that while we were yet sinners Christ died for us. Ukisoma huko mstari wa Warumi 5:8 anasema wakati tulipokuwa kuwa fungani wenye dhambi Christo alikufa kwa ajili ya dhambi zetu. This is one of the greatest illustrations the world has ever seen. Tunaona kwamba hii haya ni maelezo makubwa duniani. Dunia haijawahi kuona maelezo kama haya. You can draw this on a napkin, you can draw this uh, paint this on a, a canvas, you can put it anywhere in the world and people will know the story. The story. Kwa hivyo unaweza hata kuandika kila mahali kwa mkono wako kwa karatasi yoyote ambayo wewe unaona kama haina maana na uweze kuonyesha ulimwengu mzima na watu wataelewa maandiko haya matakatifu. I don't have to speak a word and you know what the story is about. Na hata kile wewe umeona hapa siwezi kusema hata neno moja lakini yeyote imejieleza hapa. One thief made it to heaven. Tunaona kwamba mwizi mmoja aliingia mbinguni. In this case this thief made it to heaven. Huyo mwizi ambaye alikuwa mkono wa kulia aliingia mbinguni. This thief went to hell. Na huyu mwizi alienda kusini. Jesus Christ is in the middle. Tunaona kwamba Yesu katikati. He died for both those sinners. Alikufa kwa ajili ya huyu mwizi na huyu mwizi. Both those sinners deserve to die and go to hell. Tunaona kwamba hawa wezi wawili wanastahili kuwa wameenda katika kuzimu. But one man made it to heaven. Tunaona kwamba mmoja alifanya njia kwenda mbinguni. And it doesn't take a rocket scientist to know why they made it to heaven. Tunaona kwamba hata wanasayansi wa dunia hawezi kuelewa kwa nini mmoja aliingia mbinguni. Because he made it to heaven because he trusted in Jesus Christ. Tunaona kwamba alijifanyia njia ya kuingia mbinguni kwa sababu aliweka imani kwa huyu mtu ambaye anaitwa Yesu Kristo. This man never went to church. Tunaona kwamba huyu mtu hata hakuwa na nafasi ya kuingia kanisani hata moja. Never put money in the offering plate. Hakuweka sadaka yake kwenye mali sadaka inawekwa. Never dressed up nice. Hakuvaa hako, vizuri vile Wellington huyu amevaa mimi sijavaa hivyo. Never wore a nice never wore a nice dress. Hako dress. Hakuvaa nguo nzuri kama vile kina dada wamevaa. Come to church and be so beautiful. Yeah, kweli akawe mtu kwa sababu amekuja kanisani never was baptized hakubatizwa kama and he went there lakini tunaona kwamba aliingia mbinguni in whom we have redemption through his blood even the forgiveness of sins ambao tuna ukombozi wa wa msamao wa hata msamao wetu wa dhambi god's mercy is love and his grace tunaona kwamba rehema na upendo na neema ya mungu Ephesians chapter 2 I'll read verses 4 through 9 Wa Efeso mlango wa pili tutasoma mstari wa 4 hadi 9. But God who is rich in mercy. Nasema But if you just read it then okay. I'll read it first. But God who is rich in mercy for his great love wherewith he loved us. First one. Lakini Mungu kwa kuwa ni mwingi wa rehema kwa mapenzi yake makuu. So there we see the word mercy. Tunaona kwamba ana rehema. Never say love. Tunaona kwamba upendo. It's not your mercy and your love. Tuna, tunaona kwamba si uh, rehema yako na, na upendo wako. It's God's mercy and God's love. Tunaona kwamba ni rehema ya Mungu na upendo wa Mungu. Even when we were dead in sin. Tunaona kwamba hata tulipokuwa wafu 
kabisa katika damu zetu. If you're dead in sins today, tunaona kwamba kama wewe ungekuwa mfu katika damu zako siku ya leo. His mercy and his love extended. Tunaona kwamba rehema ya Mungu bado inakuja kwako. I will says have quickened us together with Christ by grace. Tunaona kwamba ametumeuishwa sisi sote pamoja kwa 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 grace neema grace neema ya Mungu something you don't deserve to get kitu ambacho ustahili kukipata you were made alive given eternal life you didn't deserve it but you got it through the grace of god tunaona kwamba wewe umeumbwa na ukapata ule wokovu si kwamba ulistahili lakini ulihitaji kwa sababu ya neema ya Mungu and hath raised us up together and made us sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Tunaona ametufufua ametufufua na kutuisha ili tukae pamoja na huyu na huyu Mungu wetu. That in the age to come he might show the exceeding riches of his grace. Tunaona kwamba miaka ijayo na hata tunapoelekea umilele wetu tutakuja kuona kwamba ilitendeka hivyo kwa ajili ya Kristo. There's a word grace again. Tunaona kwamba ni neno lingine tunalipata hapo la neema pia. In his kindness toward us through Jesus, uh, Christ Jesus. Katika fadhili zake ndani ya Yesu Kristo. Okay, and here's the verse I used in Sunday in Sunday school. Kuna mstari ambao anatumia kwenye shule ya Jumapili. Ephesians 2:8-9. Tunaona kwamba Waefeso 2:8-9. For by grace. Nasema kwa 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 maana mmeokolewa kwa neema. Are you saved through faith? Tunaona kwamba ni kwa ajili ya imani. Not of yourselves. Si kwa sababu ya mimi ama wewe mwenyewe. It is the gift of God. Tunaona kwamba ni kipawa cha Mungu. Not of works. Si kwa matendo. Let's talk about mercy then. We'll talk about mercy first, well, then grace, and then love. Why did you to zoom muzia rehema alafu alafu nehema alafu pendo? Why do we need mercy? Why do we need mercy? Because we're all sinners. Because we're all sinners. Because we're all sinners. Because we're all sinners. For all sin to come short of the glory of God. Sisi tume tume tena dami na kupungua na ushukufu wa Mungu. And sinners go to hell. Tunaona kwamba wenye dhambi wanaenda kuzimu. Bible says in Romans 6:23, for the wages of sin is death. Tunaona mshahara wa dhambi ni mauti katika Urumi 6:23. Jesus said in Mark 9, uh, Marko Marko 9, when he was talking about hell, wakati alipo zungumzia mambo ya kuzimu, he said hell is a place where the worm dieth not and the fire is not quenched. Tunaona kwamba ni kuzimu ni mahali ambapo moto hautazimika kamwe. He says it once. Anasema amezungumzia hiyo mara moja. He says it twice. Where the worm dieth not and the fire is not quenched. Amesema mara mbili mahali ambapo moto hauwezi kusimika. And he says it a third time. Na amesema mara ya tatu where the worm dieth not and the fire is not quenched. Anasema ni watu ambao wako huko na moto hauwezi kuzimika. But you don't have to go there. Na pengine wewe utaenda. It's the mercy of God. Ni rehema ya Mungu. I'm not going. Mimi sieni. I deserve it. Mimi naisaidi kwenda huko mbinguni. I'm a sinner. Mimi ni mwenye dhambi. You say how high is God's mercy? Anasema yeye ana rehema kubwa. It's higher than my sin plus another 100%. Anasema yeye ana yeye ni ni mwingi na mwingi katika asilimia 100. I can't get over the mercy of God. Mimi siwezi kwenda juu ya rehema ya Mungu. It's so high you can't Ah hiyo ni juu sana siwezi kwenda juu. The Bible says that whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast in the lake of fire. This is the second death. Biblia nasema yeyote ambaye jina lake alikufanikiwa kupatikana katika vitabu hivi vya uzima alipatikana katika ziwa la moto. Let me say one thing. Wote kitu kimoja hapa. I definitely needed some mercy. Ah mimi nilihitaji hiyo rehema ni kweli. I need to get my name written in the book of life. Mimi nahitaji kupeana jina langu liandikwe katika kitabu cha uzima. So I went to Calvary. Mimi nilienda Kaivari and I access like that mercy. Na nilipata njia ya kupata hiyo rehema ya Mungu. If you're here today and you've not gotten the mercy of God kama wewe huko hapa na hujapata rehema ya Mungu wewe njia yako inaenda kuzimu This thief just said Remember me when thou comest in thy kingdom Angalia huyu mwizi bila alisema alisema nikumbuke utakapofika katika ufalme wangu 
There was no special prayer that he prayed. No special thing he had to do. Jesus said one of the prayers was be merciful to me, a sinner. Did you hear what I just said? Be merciful. Jesus is merciful. <coughs> He'll take you like that. Let's talk about the grace of God. You know, if you're saved today, come on, Leo. And the Lord should come uh, in the clouds tonight. You are out of here. You are out of here. It's called the rapture. The Bible says in a moment, it's quickly of an eye. At the last trump. The dead, the dead in Christ arise first. And then we will go. And then we will go. That's the grace of God. You did not deserve that. You will not deserve that. Right? And guess where you're going to go? You're going to go to heaven. Go to heaven. You're going to go to heaven. The Bible talks about a heaven where all this uh, precious gems and stones and it'll be full of light because Jesus Christ will be there. Walk, walk on streets ago. Now think about it for a second. You and I walking on streets of gold. Mimi na wewe tukitembea kwenye barabara za hapo. Now what did we do to deserve it? Tulifanya nini kwa Mungu ili tustahili kutembea kwenye dhahabu? Not enough. Hakuna chochote. How much is a pound of gold today? Na ebu tu ebu kipimo cha kipimo cha hiyo dhahabu siku ya leo ni pesa ngapi? A lot of money. Ah pesa nyingi ukiwa na na dhahabu. I have to work for uh, for a long time to just get one pound of gold. Tunaona kwamba ili upate hata nusu kilo ya hiyo utapata kufanya kazi kubwa sana ndio upate hiyo dhahabu. Can you imagine the streets in heaven are full and paved with gold? Tunaona kwamba barabara za mbinguni zimeweza kutandikwa vizuri kwa sababu kuna dhahabu Mungu mwenyewe ameitandika. And you go to Jesus, you say, here's my shillings. I, I like to, you know, buy a, a brick of gold up in heaven. Na, pengine unesa kuenda kwa mungu muambia mimi na pesa kidogo hapa shiligi chache. Nataka kununua moja kule mbiguni. Jesus says your money is no good up there. Ah, bibiria nasema kwa mba yesu wakasema pesa zetu siyo nzuri hapu kule juu. Your credit card is no good up there. Ah, hata zile kadi ambazo naingiza kwenye machini sikupe pesa siyo nzuri kule. Atuta kuwa nazo. Your work isn't any good up there. It's my gift to you. Ani ile zawadi kwangu kwa. Your mansion is a gift from me to you. Ni ile nyumba yangu ni 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 zawadi kwako. It was paid for by my own blood. Biblia nasema ili lipwa. So the mercy of God means you don't have to go to hell. Tunaona kwamba rehema ya Mungu inazuia wewe kutoenda kuzima. The grace of God means you get to go to heaven. Tunaona kwamba neema ya Mungu inakuambia tunahitaji kuingia mbinguni. Romans 6:23 again. Warumi 6:23 tena. Let me finish that verse. Wacha nimalizie huo mstari. For the wages of sin is death. Mshara wa dhambi ni mauti. But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Bali garama ya mungu ni kupitia Yesu Christo mwana wa mungu. A gift is something someone buys with their own money and gives it to you for free. Tunaona zawadi ni kile mtu anatoa pesa zake kwenye mfuko na nakupa bure. And the gift must be what? Received so you can have it. 
ndio iwe yako so a gift can be sitting right here for you waiting for you tunaona kwamba zawadi yako inaweza kuwa inakaa hapa inakungojea tu but if you don't take it na kama uwezi kuja kuipokea it's not yours haiwezi kuwa yako let's talk about the love of god waje tuzungumzie upendo wa mungu jesus christ died not for the righteous Yesu Kristo hajakufa kwa ajili ya walio wenye haki but for sinners like you and I. Alikufa kwa ajili ya wenye dhambi wewe na mimi. Bwana asifiwe sana. Here is love not that we love God but that he loved us. Unaona kwamba si kwamba sisi tunampenda Mungu lakini yeye alitupenda sisi kwanza. And sent his son na tunaona alituma mwana wake to be the propitiation. Ili awe fidia the payment ambaye ni malipo for our sin kwa sababu ya dhambi zetu Bible says in Colossians 1:14 Wa Kolosai 1:14 you know we have redemption yule ambaye tuna ukombozi ndani yake through his blood ambaye inapitia kwa damu yake even the forgiveness of sin hata msamao wa dhambi in the old testament katika agano jipi la kale when there was a first born son born wakati mwana wa kwanza alipokuwa amezaliwa the family had to bring money to the tabernacle ah tunaona kwamba watu walileta pesa kwenye madhabahu to redeem that son ili aweze kukombolewa otherwise he had to be killed ah kwa hivyo angeweza kuuawa they actually had to buy back their son from the from the priest tunaona kwamba angenunuliwa kutoka kutoka mikononi mahawa ambao ni makuani makuani yes cost of five shekels na tunaona kwamba ili ili waongenunua kwa shekeli tano na family could get their boy back from being killed na tunaona kwamba huyo mwana angelete mwana wake wa kiume asije akauawa our redemption is not with money tunaona kwamba ukombozi wetu si kwa ajili ya pesa god silver and gold ah sio sio dhamana yoyote katika katika hizo nini but by the precious blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. Katika dhahabu bali ni kwa damu ya Yesu Kristo. Jesus said Jesus said that we are to love our enemies. Tunaona kwamba Yesu alisema tupende maadui zetu. Who is the greatest enemy of God? Tunaona kwamba nani adui mkubwa wa Mungu? It's a man that is in his sin. Nani huyo ni yule mtu ambaye yuko ndani ya dhambi zake. Bible says we're in enmity, we're against God if we're in our sins. Tunaona kwamba sisi ni kinyume cha Mungu kama tuko katika kongwe la dhambi. God loves God sinners. Mungu alipenda wenye dhambi. Enough to die for. Alikuwa ni yeye wa kutosha kukufa kwa ajili ya dhambi zetu. Scarcely for a righteous man would someone die. Tunaona kwamba inaogofia kwa mtu mmoja anayekufa. But Jesus Christ died for sins. Tunaona kwamba Yesu Kristo alikufa kwa ajili ya dhambi zetu. Maybe I can give an illustration. Pengine ninaweza kutoa mfano kidogo. Anaweza kutoa mfano kidogo hapa. I just do a simple trick. Ah, atahitaji kufanya ujanja kidogo. All right here I have a, a bag here. Nina nina This is you, you're lost. Na wewe ndio huyo ambao umepotea. You're empty. Wewe wewe mtupu. But you accept the Lord Jesus Christ as your savior. Unapo mkubali Yesu Kristo kama Bwana na mokozo macho yako. So here's God's mercy. Tunaona kwamba rehema ya Mungu ndio hiyo. Here's God's grace. Aya, naye ni neema ya Mungu ndio hiyo. Here's God's love represented by the blood of the lamb. Na upendo wa Mungu ndio huo ambao unawakilisha na damu ya Yesu Kristo. And you know what? You receive the Lord Jesus Christ as your savior. Na unapompokea Yesu Kristo kama Bwana mwokozi wa macho yako. And all of a sudden Nasema katika muda usio muda instead of those things being separate and away from your life na tunaona kwamba maisha yanapokuwa yako mbali mbali katika maisha yetu wetu you're made full tunaona kwamba unaanza kuwa na kuunganishwa unakuwa kitu kimoja unakuwa kitu kimoja ndani yake amen unakuwa kitu kimoja ndani ya Amen. All right. Let's close. Wajetufunge kwa maombi. God's mercy. 
We don't have to go to hell. God's grace. We get to go to heaven. And it's all because of the love of God. Through his blood. For by grace are you saved through faith. And not of yourselves. It's a gift of God. Not of works. Lest any man should boast. Bible says for whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Lord be merciful to me a sinner. Lord be merciful to me a sinner. Bona 